What needs to be done to make city streets safer in Pittsburgh? We're hearing some answers from decision makers today. The city has one of the highest pedestrian commute numbers in the entire country, which also makes it one of the most dangerous. Bryant Reed is live at one of those dangerous roads with some of the changes leaders hope to make. Bryant. Kim, it's no surprise Pittsburgh's commuter numbers are high, and this probably doesn't take much to guess some of the problem areas either. Liberty Avenue and 6th Avenue downtown, Forbes Avenue in Oakland, and East Carson Street over on the south side. Now, all of these are very high traffic, uh, traffic areas, which is why leaders are trying to make changes fast. In Pittsburgh, there have been 211 pedestrian fatalities in the past decade. Roadway experts say this is a concerning number since Pittsburgh has one of the highest commuting rates by foot in the country. So far, the city has already made some improvements by adding curb ramp updates and signal enhancements. However, seniors make up the majority of pedestrian fatalities, but children aren't too far behind. That's why there's a program in place to make it safer for kids who choose to walk and bike to school. Coordinators will plan out routes and walk with the students in the mornings and afternoons at times. Um, they are walking the routes the students take to and from school, surveying this area to make, the, to make sure that the routes they are taking are safe. And they're sharing, giving safety updates and recommending safety improvements like sidewalk and walking path improvements, traffic calming and speed reduction to name a few. So when exactly do the majority of these accidents happen? Well, the stats show that it's during rush hour from about 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. And the majority of these accidents are happening near a transit stop. Live downtown, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.